has got no money, she's got her strong beliefs. My love has got no power, she's got her strong beliefs. My love has got no fame, she's got her strong beliefs. My love has got no money, she's got her strong beliefs. One more and more, yeah, people just want more and more freedom and love. Here's what she's looking for, one more and more. Yeah, people just want more and more freedom and love Here's what she's looking for Freed from desire Mind and sense is purified Freed from desire Mind and sense is purified Freed from desire Mind and sense is purified Freed from desire Welcome to my Freed From Desire Fingerstyle tutorial. So obviously you've watched the cover and you've seen how I'm playing it. I'm gonna break down the parts as best I can to you uh, throughout. Now, first of all, capo fret three for my specific version. I actually, sorry, I do not know what original key the song is, but that is where I have it for my voice and that's where I'm gonna be doing it for you today. Chords. Chords wise, it's absolutely a piece of cake. There is only four chords in the whole song. Um, so it's not like we're breaking the bank when it comes to the chords. But you may have seen in my version, while there is just four chords, I'm actually playing them sometimes as open chords and sometimes as bar chords. Now I will show you both, but if you do struggle with the bars, then just play them as open. You know, it's pretty simple. And I'll be also showing you an easier way to do the F as well. So chords, there's, a couple, there's four chords. There's A minor seven. So that's fret two on the B string and sorry fret one on the b string all relative to the capo and fret two on the d string so eddie eight dynamite goodbye eddie that's what i call the strings for that chord you strum the bottom five strings so that's the a minor seven c major seven is the next chord and it is as easy as this you put your ring finger on fret three on the a string like you're doing a c chord which that would be but all you do for major seven is just lift up the index finger so you've got fret two on the d and fret three on the A, and strum the bottom five like you do normally for a C chord. Okay, so A minor seven, C major seven. The F chord. Now, in the video, you saw that I was doing it as the full bar F, so that's barring and pressing down all six strings on fret one, middle finger on the second fret on the G string, and ring and pinky finger on the third fret on the D and the, on the A and the D, and strumming all six. Now, sometimes I do it that way, but another way that you might find useful is you can just do the beginner's F major seven. It doesn't sound too bad with this. If you can, bring your thumb over the top and hold down the bass note on the thickest string, but this would work as well. So that's fret three on the G, D, fret two on the G, and fret one on the B. So that's another way. And later on in the song, sometimes I do use that chord, but the full bar is great. So what I do from there is I make an E chord now to do that E chord, it's much easier to just peel off the bar finger and slide this shape down from two, three, three to one, two, and two to get an E chord. And I recommend that in this song that you do that a lot. You can completely use, you know, the fingers you'd be taught to do an E with and what feels more natural, but I recommend this. And that's our chords, A minor seven, C major seven, F, or this, and E. And really, although there's different orders of the chords throughout, that's all I'm going to be doing. I will be showing you how I play them as bars as well, but I'll take that on further throughout the lesson. So once you've got the chords, we can then look at the next most challenging thing, which is the rhythm. So the rhythm that I use in this is quite syncopated. It has what we call wraps, which is where we hit the strings like this. Um, become very, very popular with Ed Sheeran because of Ed Sheeran's popularity, this sort of style of playing. Um, so I need to show you the rhythm. So the rhythm is simply this. Now what's good about this rhythm actually isn't when I am playing, it's more when I'm not. So that's kind of syncopated. So I need to take the, you through the beat, okay? 
First of all, I'm pinching the A minor seven. So I'm using all finger style, I'm not using a plectrum. Thumb, index, middle and ring. Pinching the A string, G, B and E. So that's, I'm gonna call that a pinch. So we're going pinch, wrap. Now for a wrap, you just use the top part of your knuckles, bit of the thumb a bit, and you get that sound, okay? It's emulating a snare drum sound in a drum kit. So it's pinch, wrap, pinch, pinch, wrap, bass. Now, when I say the pinch is afterwards, the pinches afterwards don't include the thumb. The thumb is only in, ever in the first pinch. Wrap, so these pinches are just the bottom three strings. Then there's another wrap, then there's a pinch, then there's a thumb on the bass note. So it is pinch with thumb, wrap, pinch, pinch, wrap, thumb. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold. So it's <coughs> So next I'm going to take you through the count of that. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and on the and of four is where the bass note hits. One and two and three, and four, and. <coughs> so the end of the bar is rap bass, rap bass. Now that bass may be different. If we're doing a C chord, it would be rap bass like this. So the C major seven. So let's put together A minor seven and C major seven. Pinch with thumb, rap, pinch, pinch, thumb, bass, C, pinch. Now it may be one of those rhythms that you find easier to play faster because it feels more natural faster, but definitely break it down. One and two and three and four and. And that last and, sorry, should be a bass note. There's lots of ands, which is on the upbeat, syncopated. So let's do the chord progression then. So it's A minor seven, C, F, E. And then that goes around the circle, okay? So when I start the song, um, it's, and, so, and I roll, I roll my rake. So it's not always just a pinch, sometimes I rake down the strings. You can choose to do that, that's thumb in this middle ring very quickly, like this. But for now, just get used to the pinches while you're doing, getting the hang of that challenging rhythm. So the first time, I just play the E and I hold it. Okay, so from here, on the more, more and more, we go from the E back to the F. F. Still same rhythm. To G. F. And you may have seen in my video, that's where I take my F bar chord and I slide it up to a G bar chord. However, if you want to just do a G chord there, so actually, sorry, there's five chords in the song because you've got your G as well. You can just do your normal G. But I like to move the bar chord up. I'm on F, I'm G, 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 and then A minor 7, and C major 7, and then that chord progression repeats F, and then to a G, and then A minor 7. Okay, so. The chord progression for that bridge is F, G, A minor 7, C minor, C major 7, then that repeats. And then when we get into the Freed from Desire, 
I, t I come away from that rhythm and I do what I call the chill out pattern. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, miss up, down, up, down, down, up, miss up, down, up. So for the chorus, it's the same progression as the bridge. So it's F, G, A minor seven, C major seven. F on desire, G, G purified, A minor seven. Always that same rhythm though, okay? Down, down, up, up, down, up. And what I'll do in the chorus is I start to play all of the chords as bars. So F on fret one, same chord shape, but up here on fret three for the G. And then for the A minor seven as a bar, you're barring fret five and putting the ring finger on fret seven on the A string. That's A minor seven. And then the C major seven as a bar chord is barring fret three. And then on fret four on the G, with the middle finger fret three on the D string and fret, uh, sorry, fret four on the D and fret four on the B. That's the C major seven. So the chord progression with bars, if you choose G, A minor seven, C major seven. And I like to bring in the bars just to add a bit of variation there, okay? But whatever you do when you finish the very last C major seven of this, you wanna finish it on a, on the, the original C major seven. So we can go into this. Okay, and this is the bit that obviously, you know, na 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 na, but played on the guitar, right, in finger style. So we come out of the C major seven, we then play open on the B, and I'll put the tab on screen for this so you guys can learn along. So open on B, then pinching the B string while it's holding down fret three on the A. Then open on B again, and then a pinch again. That's the intro. And then thumb over to the thickest string. In that you could do an F. You actually could do an F if you feel very confident with your F, but how I've been playing it in my muscle memory is thumb over on the thickest string, index finger on fret one also, and then the middle finger on fret two on the G string. Pinching those three notes, then playing the index finger on the two, on the G, then wrap, then two again. Then letting go with the index and middle, so you've got open on the G string with your pinch, then open G, then wrap, then open G. So it's. And from the beginning. Good, with me so far, on to the next line. Okay, so we're on third fret on the thickest string, second fret on the D string, pinching those two. You have to use thumb and index with your finger star. Then second fret on the D again. Then wrap, then open on B. Then leaving the ring on fret three on the thickest string, pinching that note with the open B, then the open B by itself, then pinching again. Okay, so let's back it up a little bit to when we did the F. Okay, then we go to an A minor chord. So, um, index on fret one on the B, middle and ring on fret two on the D and G. You're pinching the A string, D and G string, G and B string, sorry. Then wrap then the two again on the G. So pinch, two on the G, wrap, two on the G. Then open on the D and G, then the G by itself with a wrap, then the G by itself. Okay, 
So let's back it up to um, the beginning, right? And to finish, we're going to make a C chord. You can leave the middle finger where it was, left over, on the second fret on the D, and bring the ring finger to the third fret on the A, coming round to our C chord again, pinching the G and the B, the, sorry, the A and the D, then the D by itself, then a wrap, then open on B, then pinching, just like where we came into the song. Open on B, pinching A and B, open on B, pinching A and B, open on B. And then this is how it goes round in a circle. Round in a circle. And you're gonna to wanna to practice that a lot to fully get my rendition off. And then this time, rather than going back to the C in bar five, I'll just strum an E chord. No, 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 then I'll be back to the beginning with that rhythm. So I'll just be going round again there. And then the song repeats. So that is all of the components on the guitar. The only bit is in the breakdown that you might want to know is I go one more and more. I just arpeggiate the chords with bass note, index, middle, ring. One more and more. Da, 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 G chord and A minor seven. And then C major seven and one more. Back to that chill out rhythm. And then I'll do that round of circle, and then I'll put in this rhythm. Towards the end. So that's the same rhythm that we've had, but with the chucks and a bit more strumming. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, up, up. Okay, so that really is all of the components of the song. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Do give it a thumbs up if you have. Keep on playing and see you soon.